guys, Cal here bringing you day three of the finishing clan games, being 1,000 points a day, or at least doing as much as we can, and today we're going to be trying to get to 3,000, uh, and uh, in order to do that, we have to do a few things. This one, I think, will be the easiest one for us to do, win five battles in a row. Very easy to do with sneaky goblins. So I think we're just going to take advantage of that, and uh, that will pretty much put us to uh, the finish line. So let's see really quick, and we can end it with this, destroy one clan castle, and that will be the 1000. So let's see how quickly we can get those two things done. So uh, let me quickly make sure that everything is correct. We have everything, yep. And... Uh, if you're new to the series, ooh, this is a good loot base, though. How hard will it be to funnel into the town hall? Not very hard, so I think we're just going to... I have a feeling we won't need to work too hard for our, um... For this challenge, so... We're going to have to just pick off what we want. We're going to do one at that drill, three over there. And then we're going to drop a jump. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm just going to use a bunch of invisibility spells in the beginning. I think I whipped that one. Oh well, we'll drop another one there. Drop another one there. And we're going to slowly work our way over to the town hall. And take that one out. Using a lot of jumps, but... I mean, using a lot of invisibility spells, but... I think what's going to get us in the end is the amount of sneaky goblins we use. So, there is one win right there I'm going to move that to the front uh we have one invisible uh one jump spell so we can do something like that to fix it up so that's one out of five let's go and make it two out of five this one is also pretty decent but we're just going to go for easy bases right now this one is a pretty easy base because we can uh get to this town hall with one jump. The only problem is we'll have to use two wall breakers, which I think will be fine. So we'll just go for that. Go one wall breaker here, one wall breaker there. The reason why I'm just doing both sides is because one, two, three, the hitting this jump to be directly in the middle can sometimes be a bit difficult. And even then, sometimes these uh, storages near the outside will draw the attention of your sneaky goblins anyways, so having this big wide one done right here usually makes it easier. Didn't funnel everything out, so we have a sneaky goblin running down at the bottom. Usually there's a tornado trap right next to this town hall with this base layout, so we're just going to do one sneaky goblin to uh, trigger that. Yep, there it is. This is a very common base. Usually we come from the bottom right here when we're Dark Elixir farming because we can go straight from there to the Dark Elixir to the Town Hall. But because we're not Dark Elixir farming, uh, we're just trying to finish these clan games. We're going to go straight to the Town Hall and ignore that Dark Elixir. We're also ignoring the Dark Elixir because it's uh, Clan Wars is just around the corner. And I don't want to have my heroes down for that. So no need to fill up on Dark Elixir when we don't need to. Okay, so we're going to go into the next one. We are missing, uh, let's let this finish, two, one, boom. We're actually not upgrading uh, something in our lab, so I might do that after we're done here. Probably upgrade something with Dark Elixir or with Elixir, seeing that we have so much of it right now. Not a good base, this one. Uh, this one is good. We don't have to use any super wall breakers. I'm use a super wall breaker right here, though. Just to get these, um, what's it called? Drills and pumps and, uh, mines out of the way. So that we can go diagonally straight into it without any real distraction. So let's go do a test to see if there are any tornado traps. It doesn't look like it. So we're going to send in our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we'll just do 7. Usually I do 5, um, but I thought I'd be a little bit safe here and take that out. 
These are pretty full, so actually I'm just going to send one at each just to get that loot. Maybe we'll finish up some walls, make this a, a like a, a point five in the series of uh, progression. Just a little mini one in between. But that is now three out of five. Boom, boom. And do something like that that we are four out of five i believe three out of five so we need two more so this up ooh, nice i was going to say this upcoming one has to be uh, a town hall that we don't need to use a jump seeing that we only have one jump left and we were granted a base again i said this in uh yesterday's video i think where i just feel that I've been seeing more bases with holes in them lately, and I don't know why. Um, just because it's not good. But at the same time, it is, like, fine if there are people aren't attacking with sneaky goblins. So honestly, this is probably a troll base, or a base that is baiting out uh, someone to put things in the middle. Or this person is a Town Hall... I didn't see what Town Hall it was. Probably Town Hall 11 that copied a base and doesn't have all the buildings yet and needs to place a building right there uh two um what's it called options that i can see possible let's see so now we just need one more yep one more and let's knock this one out and then we round it out with uh, a clan castle snipe which shouldn't be too difficult. This has a lot of loot also, but we'll skip it because we're another big loot. Yeah, if you guys aren't in Crystal, I hope this is uh, a good example on why maybe you should be in Crystal because uh, you get a lot of easy loot bases out here. Oh, I was supposed to hit that, but I touched the, the next button. Maybe we'll be rewarded with an even easier base, so we don't have to really worry about the clan castle. Uh, nope. That one was a good Dark Elixir base. Could snipe it off with a hero if I had it. Uh, another good base that I could just... Wow. Not that one, but like... We got four big Elixir gold raids that we could just get a lot of. But we have to skip it. It's painful, but we have to skip it. That might be uh, something that this channel gets known for, just skipping monster raids. Okay, here we go. Another hole in the base. Uh, this one is a bit annoying, only because we only have one jump left, and this one will require us to use the jump. But hopefully... No, I didn't think there would be a tornado trap there. I'm not going to use my invisibility spells. I'm just going to let those die out. Boom, and then go one, two, three. Go take that out. Um, because this is so close, the nice thing you can do is you go one to test for traps, and you let this go all the way. Because it's going to take you three goblins regardless. Um, so with the one to test, if there isn't anything there, you can just send the two in. And you'll have spent the same amount of goblins, but it will be a little bit safer. Oh, what? It's over the wall. That's a little upsetting. Um, let's see if we can, if we can salvage this. Okay, so it was over the wall, but it decided to, okay. That was a bit odd, but we'll go three. We'll use a lot of invisibility spells here to conserve our last bit of sneaky goblin. There we go. And that's... Oh, I dropped my phone. <laughs> no, everything's falling apart. Okay, there. We got it. Wasted an invisibility spell there. But we did complete that little uh, thing. It took us ten minutes. And uh, let's go straight into... This one right here, and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, we will be able, let me, yep, it looks like, 
everything is good. Hopefully we will be able to get like an easy outside clan castle. We might have to search a bit. Um, so I apologize ahead of time. But maybe we'll get lucky. So another core, same base that we attacked earlier. Ooh, no inner clan castle. So where are you? Nice, right on the outside. One, two, three. And that will get us to our 1,000. Boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we're just going to take the L. I was a bit confused there. I was like, we won, but we lost. Okay, and there we go. We got our 1,000. Let's see if there's anything easy out here that we might just want to do for fun. Doesn't look like there's anything easy. This one, if you have... uh, What's it called? This is essentially the same thing we just did, except with the Super Bowlers. Except we get 1,500 instead of 1,000. So if you have the Super Troop... Actually, no, we can't do it because we're boosting two. Never mind. I do not know what I'm talking about. But that'll be it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.